So it's really been fun to see that evolution and that growth for you guys. Along that journey, I mean, you guys were some pioneers in the space. I mean, starting in 2000, it seems like such a long time ago now, especially with COVID and everything else. I just wanted to ask, like, what was it, what kind of like surprised you about the non-alcoholic space that you weren't kind of expecting? Yeah, you know, kind of going back to the, the subscription thing and selling out and the, the FOMO of NA beers, um, like that was kind of warming to us, you know, especially mm -hmm. me, I was living, you know, inside the brewing facility, you know, don't, do, don't go out in the world all that much and Bill's at right. these sales events and all these sporting events, seeing the reception in the public. Um, so it was really nice to see that people were like excited. And mm -hmm. so going back to the, the next question, you know, what surprised me, I think it was honestly the rate of adoption um, mm. and the desire that was actually out there in the universe. People wanted this and mm -hmm. nobody really, but Bill and a few other people knew for so long that there was this want and need for this, for this innovation. And so for me, it was, it was honestly the adoption rate and the enthusiasm that communities would have around this. And, you know, honestly, the fact that we could stimulate and actually grow the beer category and bring more people back into beer by just creating another opportunity or at least creating a way for people to participate in social engagements that they may have avoided because there was no option that they enjoyed or felt proud holding. Right. That's so cool. And I think that's one of the things that I have really enjoyed about this space too is, um, you know, an event like Bottle Rock was such a fun experience, but also like this anthropological study on who are these consumers and when are they going to enjoy non-alcoholic? And, um, you know, as so many people have kind of, or what was the surprise to me after all of the pregnant women, which was just absolutely hilarious. But beyond that was that next person who wanted to have it as a break, as a point of just, you know, after seeing a really long concerts, you know, long set, they wanted to have something non-alcoholic, but that was still hydrating still had a lot of flavor to it. So that was a really big surprise to me of just, you know, how many people are, you know, still drink alcohol, but wanted to include non-alcoholic in their, in their drinking for the day. It was a big surprise. And it's amazing. 